All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Terrell. Listen, right now we're about to hop into this Casey Musgrave. First time on this channel, first time ever hearing her. So without further ado, we're going to see what she's talking about. Let's do this. My Saturn has returned. When I turned 27, everything started to change Took a long time, but I learned There's two kinds of people One is a giver, and one's always trying to take All they can take So I'm saying goodbye Hold on. Okay, so let me get this straight. So we we started it off with her basically saying, uh, referring to Saturn returning. I guess that kind of, that might symbolize like a significant time in her life, you know, when she turned 27. And that could also indicate like the, uh, the, um, how you say astrological, uh, uh, I guess like the astro, uh, <laughs> the astrological, uh, concept of Saturn return basically. And that, that occurs, occurs, uh, I think every 29.5 years if i'm not mistaken y'all could google it google it matter of fact i'm gonna google it right now because i know what i'm talking about saturn return yep i was right yes 29.5 years yes that's why i pay attention in class yeah but but to her i guess that also could like you know represent like a, a period in her her life you know where it was like a great change and i guess some type of self-reflection you know and then she also acknowledges that there's two type of people in this world. You have the givers, you have the takers. You have the people that contribute, and you that you have those who you know constantly seek to take from others, basically. To the people, but I learn there's two kinds of people. One is a giver, and one's always trying to take all they can take. So I'm saying goodbye to the people that I feel are real good at wasting my time No regrets, baby, I just think that maybe you go your way and I'll go mine It's been a real good time But you got dark energy, something I can't unsee And I've got Take care of myself. Damn. Damn. Okay, so she, she made the decision to bid farewell, right? From people that are, I guess, wasting her time. And I guess, you know, in, instead of, like, regretting it, I guess she kind of recognizes that it's, it's necessary for her to, like, focus on herself and, you know, find her own path. As she tells the other guy, the other person, like, to find your own path as well. Just, you know, be by yourself or, you know, just find your own way of life. But then she also mentions uh, something about somebody having dark energy and that's i guess that's just something that she cannot you know be around basically because if you got dark energy like who wants to be around somebody that projects dark energy i know i don't i found a deeper well i used to wake and bake Roll out of bed, hit the gravity bone that I made And start the day For a while it got me by Everything I did seemed better when I was high I don't know why So I'm getting rid of the habits that I feel are real good at my time. No. She said she used to, in the morning time, she wake and bake. Wake and bake is you light up, you smoke weed. Everybody knows what the wake and bake is, you know? So she used to, like, rely on these, I, I guess, these unhealthy habits, right? And, you know, basically, you're just referring to using drugs in the morning, you know? And it kind of, I mean, being high kind of does enhance, like, your your daily act, uh, experience. Like I don't I don't know what it is, but it's I only got high one time, so I really don't remember like how it was for me. But I know everybody is different. But when it comes, to, one thing I do know for sure is like when it's getting high, is just everything seems a whole lot better, you know. But I guess she kind of sees like these habits were like a waste of time, and it kind of 
It sounds like it prevented her from like reaching maybe her full potential. No regrets, baby. I just think that maybe it's natural when things lose their shine. So other things can glow. I've gotten older now, I know. How to take care of myself. I found a I definitely agree to that you know uh what she said about you know things like losing their shine that's something i definitely agree with you know so it's like for her it's like knowing that these things lose their shine or like a pill it's like new things come into focus and it kind of brings you like you know some type of personal growth you know and she kind of acknowledges that she's, she's she's grown older you know she's learned like how to take care of herself and you know found a deeper well which is the name of the song so i'm guessing that's maybe it's like uh, some type of self-care, like self-fulfillment, maybe? When I was growing up We had what we needed Shoes on our feet But the world was as flat as a plate And that's okay The things I was taught only took me so far this song it's not what i'm used to you know listening to but I, I i definitely like it and i like how she reflects on like you know basically her upbringing they basically had everything they needed basically had everything they needed but she also says like um the world being like uh as flat as a plate i don't know what she meant by that the word being as flat as a plate i don't know but she, i don't know what she meant by that as flat as a plate what is flat as a plate you know i don't know maybe that that i mean that might have something to do with you know I guess her being limited to like a a, a world view, you know, that she I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know about that right there I don't know that's that's a good line right there. The world is as flat as a plate. I mean, if the world is as flat as a plate, you know, you can't really see everything, you know. So I you, like you're limited to seeing certain things. So I mean, maybe that's what she meant by that. If, if not, let me know in the comment section because that 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 line, damn, that that kind of got me. <laughs> that kind of got me. But you know. She also talked about how, like, you know, she had to go beyond, you know, what was she what she was taught and, like, discover the rest on her own. And for a lot of people, that's what they got to do. It's like, and not not everybody got someone around to, you know, teach them a lot or just teach them anything. Sometimes you got to go out into the world and, you know, learn yourself. Teach yourself. Learn from it, you know. One thing I'm going to say, and I think we all can say this. I, I think this one, I think we can see like the importance of like, you know, self-growth and, you know, I guess recognizing that some people and I guess like certain habits, you know, can drain someone else's energy. And I guess if it's draining your energy, that's when you need to remove yourself. I think we all can agree to that, which I think. I think we can. But anyways, man, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, turn on your bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. And until then, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We out. We go.